Okay. So in if we think that in previous classes we try to discuss or uh, focus on the fundamental parts of accounting. We are not focusing any individual chapter. That is the fundamental part. So today it will be fourth or third class. It is the class. Third. Third. The fourth. Third. फंडामेंटल <laughs> 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 Of financial accounting third class. Today we actually focus on recording. Recording transactions. How the business organization to record the financial transaction? We will focus on that. Clear? Okay. In the case of recording to create the final financial statement we we have to follow some strategies we have to follow some stages steps first of all you have to focus on that first any kinds of transaction we have already discussed supporting documents right plus plus we have discussed supporting documents so any kinds of transaction committed by the business organization initially these all transactions are recorded some specific area of the business which is called books of private so 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 private entry then we'll discuss what we mean by books of private entry today <coughs> from these books of private entry we actually record all the recorded data in laser Nominal or you can say general laser. Laser. And at the same time, it is also recorded in the memorandum laser, you know. Memorandum laser. Nominal laser is the part of accounting. We will discuss that about. But memorandum laser, this is not the part of accounting. Because in, in financial accounting, it is not required. But still, the organization actually maintain memorandum laser because of some specific purpose. The purpose is, end of the day, this nominal laser and this memorandum laser should be coped with. It is a part of controlling process we will discuss later on when we discuss nominal laser and memorandum laser. After Making this, then we will transfer this data which are the other In making trial balance. From this trial balance, then we go for make the even SOFP as well as SOCI, even statement of cash flow, even statement of changes in ownership. So these are the sequences. So today we we'll look forward books of prime entry and as well as double entry bookkeeping. So first of all, we will focus on <coughs> books of prime entry, books of prime entry, kinds of transaction, any kinds of transaction committed by the business organization initially recorded in books of prime entry. Books of prime entry, what do you mean by this? These are, the, these are the some specific area or you can say location where same kinds of transactions are recorded. So as a whole, end of the day, you can make the summary. You can find out the sum up. Clear? So depending upon the criteria, there are five types of books of prime entry. 
one that is sales day book. Sales day book. Then sales return day book. Purchase day book. Purchase return day book. <coughs> Petty cash. Petty cash <coughs> book. Cash book. Cash book journal. I have already said that is depend upon the credit criteria. There are five main types of books of privacy, but here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Sales day book and sales return day book. It may be possible that organization maintain these two books differently or at a same time. And the name is sales day book. It is a lot of people by actually sales day book you maintain project. Just like that. Purchase day book and purchase return day book. Another one maintain kora jay, extra one maintain kora jay. Petty cash book, cash book and journal. So what do we mean by SDB and what are the different types of transaction that we are going to record in SDB in business organization? SDB means sales day book. Sales day book in the sales day book, business organization record all kinds of credit sell. Credit, not cash. Credit sale committed by the business organization. Bapsha, baki te joto bapsha kore. Hey. Sell kore. Any kinds of credit sale is recorded in sales debut. So, suppose as for example, today you are a business people. Today you sell $10 to Mr. X. Credit sale. You record here. Then, next day you sell $20 to Mr. Y. Record SDB. So end of two days, what will be your total credit sale? 20 plus 10, 30 dollars. So from this SDB, what you can find out from this sales table, you can find out the total credit sale committed by you in a specific time period. So you can find out the total receivable. Clear? So that is sales table. We'll go through later. On. Then sales return day book. What do you mean by this? Any kinds of sales return. Suppose today you committed some specific kind of sale to a customer. After some period, the customer returned some specific item, returned some portion of item because it was it was it not matched with the specific quality. It may be possible sales return. So any kinds of sales return. And this sales return is recorded in sales return day book. That's why the name is sales return day book. The fact is, in reality, to make it a problem, you just memorize differently because it is according to your book. But in reality, this sales day book and sales return day book can be maintained at a same book, which is called sales day book. Any kinds of trade sale you record here, right? Any kinds of sales return. You also record in SDB, but in a kind of negative sell. Negative sell. Suppose today you so today you sell twenty dollar. Trade sell twenty dollar. So you record in SDB. Then from that twenty dollar, ten dollar sales return. Customer return because it doesn't match with the quality. So you also record that ten dollar as a kind of negative sell in the sales table. So initially positive sell twenty dollar, negative sell ten dollar. So as a whole, your total receivable is ten dollar. Clear? Okay. Then purchase day book. Any kinds of credit purchase committed by the business organization to the, from different suppliers with different suppliers, it will be recorded in purchase day book. So end of the period. Suppose today you purchase ten dollar from Mr. X. The next day you purchase twenty dollar from Mr. Y. All the credit purchase. So end of today, your total credit or your total liability or total purchase is thirty dollar credit purchase. That will be called in purchase day. You yourself can return some specific item as if the item doesn't match with your quality requirement. In that case, you can return that to the seller. So that purchase return will be recorded in 
purchase return table. On the other hand, you can maintain these two things at the same time when purchase table. One is positive purchase, or purchase return is negative purchase. Cash book. Here, we will record only the credit sale and credit purchase. Organization can go for cash purchase as well as cash sale. So any kinds of cash related transaction, cash transaction, any kinds of cash transaction is recorded in cash book. That's why cash book has two different sides. One is payment side, another is receipt side. In cash book receipt side, we record all kinds of receipt from different sources. It may be cash sale, it may be different kinds of income as well. So any kinds of cash receipt is recorded in cash book receipt side. Cash book has at the same time payment side. Any kinds of cash payment, cash purchase, or payment to different suppliers in different cases, or payment for different purposes, any kinds of payments, cash payment is recorded in the cash book payment side. Here, then petty cash debut, petty cash book, petty cash book is just like the cash book. But the fact is, petty cash book, petty cash is the kind of, you can say, it's the kind of basket. Or normally a smaller amount actually retained by the business to meet up the daily smaller amount of expenses. As for example, today, <coughs> you have to entertain, you have to entertain some of your customers. So this entertainment expense actually committed from this petty cash. So the fact is, petty cash record all kinds of cash related transactions. There is no kinds of credit transactions recording petty cash. Petty cash is going to pay their bucket each one. Here we will look for this. Journal. In this segment, we just talking, we just talk about sale and purchase. Right? So this is normally merchandise sale and purchase. Business transaction can come in different kinds of things, different kinds of transactions, rather than selling and purchase. Right? Suppose you are the manufacturer of pen. Selling pen is your main activity. Purchasing raw material of this pen is your main activity. But at the same time, you can deal with non current asset as well. Suppose today you purchase, you buy one of your huge uh, uh, voluptuous machine or building for your business purpose. So these are the different kinds of activity rather than the merchandise. So all these different kinds of activity, even errors we have already discussed, error may be there, error should be corrected. So all these kinds of different kinds of things down to general. These are the conceptual part. So now, is the, the sales demo you have to focus on this construction very important because this construction is very important for you guys because in exam hall you guys will be asked different types of questions related to this construction so focus on this sales demo yeah. Different organization can maintain different structure in sales table, but normally, as a whole, the sales table have three main columns: non total, VAT, and another is net. These are the three main different columns. Some other columns also may be there, but mainly these three columns should be there in the STB sales table. Any kinds of sale, we have already discussed that is in saving and purchasing VAT may be related. We will discuss VAT in different chapter. So VAT may be there. Suppose as for example, today you buy one of these pen, 12 chapter. 2 taka was VAT and 10 taka was the net price of this pen. Clear? Then next day, suppose you buy this from Mr. X. Hey, sell this from sell this to Mr. X. Next day, 
to Mr. Y, you sell suppose as for example data. One taka was bad and nine taka was as for example next. In SDB, we have already discussed that is in sales table, we will represent all kinds of credit set to different customer as a whole. So, suppose as for example, for our understanding, suppose we are maintaining sales table for one month. So, within one month, I can sell, I can create sell, I can commit create sell to different customer X, Y, Z, and different customers, blah, 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 right? So any kinds of trade sale will be recorded here. So at the end of the day, end of the day, when <coughs> you are making the sum total of, suppose in this case the sum total is 2, 2, here sum total is 3, here sum total is 90. What does this mean? Within one month, we committed credit set to two different customers. One is Mr. X and one other is Mr. Y. These are credit set. So that's why there will be credit period. So end of the credit period, as a whole, your total receivable is this much. This is your total receivable. This is VAT and this is sales related VAT. That means you can say this is a kind of bet, output bet. Output bet is a kind of liability, right? Why output bet is a kind of liability? Suppose today you <coughs> save and sales, for example. But today, whatever the sales committed by the save and sale, there are some net amount that is a kind of income for the save and sale. And save and sale also collect bet in each and individual product from that, from the customer. But this is not a kind of income for him. This amount, save and save is bound to provide this amount to government. That means, save and save is collecting these kinds of debt on behalf of government from the customer. So this is sales related debt, kind of liability for the business. This is net income, net income for the business. It's the kind of income, income generated. And income is also a kind of liability for the business. Why? Because business organization is generating these kinds of income by using the owner's investment. So any kinds of income is also a kind of liability for the business. But the name is income. And this is total receivable. So the fact is how you make the journal of these things. Journal we have discussed that is any kinds of things you can make the journal. So how you can make the journal? And the argument is that David Kade is a very initial class we have discussed. David Kade. We take a back of that. David. This is receivable. Receivable is a kind of current asset we have discussed. So, after committing the credit cell, this much receivable is comes forward. So, it's a kind of current asset for you or current asset for the business. <coughs> So when you want to represent a current asset, it should be debit balance. It's a discussion about the policy about the issue. So this is now the fact is this is receivable. This is another receivable. So SDB actually provide me the total receivable to different customer at a specific time. That's why we say this is receivable control. We use two other words, one is control and other is account. Individual receivable is represented through receivable. But total receivable is represented through receivable control account. That's why debit receivable control account 22. I mean, I'm sure that's a This is my current asset. For what purpose you create this current asset? Number one. VAT, this VAT, you will collect this VAT from the customer, but this is not your income. This is output VAT, and this is a kind of liability. You are obligated to return this to the government. So, on behalf of government, you are collecting this. So, this is the kind of liability increasing. 
So liability increase, any kinds of liability increase represented in big side. So this is why this is output VAT. Output VAT, how much? That is $3. And another is $19, this is net sale. Net. So it's the kind of income, what kind of income? This is sales income. So credit. Net sales income, how much? 19. So this is the normal criteria, how we actually deal with the SDP. Now, if this is in the case of sales, sales return day book, here for example, the compass of mark, 17 inches, how do you do it? Okay, so, if this is the case in the sales return day book, it is normal, all these things will be just shifted, return, change user. Suppose these are the example, but this is the example for sales return day book. So this much sales return to you. When your customer returned this amount, this receivable is not happened. This receivable is not retained. This is this should be demolished. So initially to me receivable is a kind of kind of set. Today you want to reduce that. It's a current asset. If you want to reduce that, it should be paid side. So Credit receivable control account. How much? Right. This is receivable control account. Then, as the sales return is committed, this much output back, it is not a kind of liability for you because you are not collecting that. So, you have to reduce that liability. Initially, you record that. Now, you have to reduce that liability. How you can reduce? If you want to reduce the liability, it should be represented by limits. So, Debit, output, VAT, how much? Three dollars. Another is, this sales income is not there, as the sales return is there. So you have to reduce that sales income. How you can do that? If you want to reduce the sales income, in that case, sales income. Income is a kind of liability. If you want to reduce that, that should be represented in the debit side. So debit. Sales. Sales go right So if you maintain these two at one individual book, which is called sales day book, in that case, your total thing is zero. You can make the comparison between sales paid sell and sales return. Clear? Now, আবার খুব ভালো অনেক ভালো মার্কস পাওয়া যায় আর এইটা ভালো করে শিখবা কেন কেন শিখবা যে ভবিষ্যতের কাজে লাগবে না এখন পড়বো পরীক্ষা পাস করবে শেষ ইউ আর ডুইং এসিসিএ ইউ আর ডুইং চার্টার অ্যাকাউন্ট্যান্সি চার্টার অ্যাকাউন্ট্যান্ট অ্যাকাউন্ট্যান্টের বস তাহলে অ্যাকাউন্ট্যান্টের বস তুমি কি ভাবে অ্যাকাউন্টিং না জানে না আমি তো এটা ওই সময় পরীক্ষায় পাস করার জন্য পড়ছিলাম দুইটা জানা বুঝতে পারছিলাম আর আরেকটা জানালে এমনি আরেকজনের কাছ থেকে পাশে দেখে নিছি তোমার চাকরি দিবে এইটা তো একটা গেল সাবজেক্ট পেপার ফিনান্সিয়াল রিপোর্টিং দিস ইজ ওয়ান দেন ওয়েন ইউ শিফটেড টু দি প্রফেশনাল লেভেল there is another subject right advanced financial reporting you have to go through that if the concept is not clear how can you do that tokhon ki tumi abar excel shikhte asba okay then i show purchase day book purchase the purchase day book bolo na ki sekti koshto koro kichu korar nei আমার দেখছো হাতের অবস্থা আমার দরকার আছে আমি আজকে বলতে পারতো আমি ক্লাস নেবো না দিস ইজ প্রফেশনালিজম আমি চাই আমার স্টুডেন্টরা ভালো করুক এবং গত সাত বছর ধরে যাচ্ছি স্টুডেন্ট পিছিয়ে লেগে আছে রেজাল্ট এমনি এমনি আসতেছে 
That is purchased a book actually represent all kinds of credit purchase committed by the business organization from different supplier. You purchase all this on credit. So that means end of the month to Mr. X and to Mr. Y, your total waste your total waste O W E S waste is $20. It's your kind of liability. You can say obligation. Now this is called trade payable. Payables are two kinds. One is trade payable and another is summary payable. We will discuss later on. But today we are discussing trade payable. Trade payable means this purchase is committed and this purchase is a normal kind of activity. This merchandise purchase. So that's why this is your trade payable. Then three, this much VAT. This is purchase related VAT which we called income VAT. That means at the time of purchase, you are providing this VAT to the supplier. Normally, you are providing this VAT to the government indirectly. That's why it's a kind of VAT providing. VAT itself is a kind of liability. So as you are providing this much VAT, it is decreasing your liability input VAT. And this much $19 net amount, net value of some kinds of raw material or you can say finished goods that enter. Raw material or any kinds of stock is your current asset. Inventory, this is your current asset. Total waste, input VAT, and this is current asset. Now the fact is, if you want to represent this, Debit. First of all, this much total stock increases because of this credit purchase. It's a kind of current asset. If you want to represent the asset, it should be debit balance. That means this is called net purchase. Net purchase is $19. VAT. VAT is a kind of liability, but here you are providing this VAT on behalf of your credit purchase. So you are decreasing the liability by providing this amount, right? So that's why input VAT. Input VAT how much? $3. Dollars. Okay, so input pad is free and end of the day, this much, these all are actually committed on credit, right? These all are your total waste, total obligation, total liability you have to pay for after some credit period. That's why this is your liability, liability increase of liability representation should be paid side. 
Now the fact is, this is payable, this is payable. These are the total payable. That's why just like the receivable, this is payable control account. Payable. Control account, how much? That is 22. Obligations. Clear? Now, if this is the case of purchase return level, then all these things will be shifted. Right? Discussion with the video as a barber dictator. F3 will carry in the channel dictator. Yes, one hour. Shop jackets. F1 is a shop jackets. You are the only person. Yes. 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 तो ये तो चाकी पर आशुना है, चाकी पर ना जाकून, हमारे फोन दी था। सर, कॉन्सेप्ट तो क्लियर हुआ है ना ये जो एकाउंट्स शॉप शाम में नहीं है बोशेगा से आशन कर दिया जाए। कामी हो कर दो। आई विल चार्ज 50 परसेंट ऑफ़ योर सैलरी। तो वर्ष सैलरी 50 परसेंट चार्ज कर दो। शामुश नहीं। तामर ऑन एक्सपीरियंस तेरा हमारे शुरू एक जब भालू को था बोलता है मैं ये चार्ज को ले आते हैं मैं उन्हें बोर्ड में थकता हूँ अच्छा नहीं और शुरू था मैं काट को ले आते हैं उन्हें बोर्ड में थकता हूँ ओके सो दिस इज़ ऑल अबाउट पार्चेस जेबू कैन सेल्स जेबू नाउ फोकस ऑन दिस कैश बुक कैश वी हैव डिस्कस्ड कैश Receipt side, cash book, receipt side. Just like the previous one, cash book, receipt side has also mainly three column. Three column. Total, total, date. Total. These are the main three column. In cash book, we'll add two other column. One is sales pleasure, the column name is sales pleasure, and another is memoranda column. Memoranda column we'll discuss. Suppose as for example, we have already said there is any kind of cash related transaction is recorded in cash book. And we are dealing with the cash book receipt side. That means any kinds of cash receipt, cash receipt from different sources will be recorded in here. Suppose as for example, <coughs> today cash sale. You commit your business owner should play, make some cash sale. Cash sale of as for example total. Cash sale. That means you are selling the item with immediate cash payment by your customer. So that's why you got here. But if it was paid sale, in that case it would be recorded in the cash sales debit, right? Okay. Within this twelve dollar, suppose that was two and then it was ten. It's a kind of cash collection. Today, <coughs> it may also possible that. Some previous receivable is collected by the business. Initially, I'm like to the case level, the power taka, 12 dollar, 2 taka bed, 10 taka net, then 10 taka, 1 taka bed, 9 taka. Suppose, as for example, today you also collect some of your credit receivable collection. Receivable collection. Today, you collected. How much receivable was initially? 22 dollar on a chill, 20 dollar on a chill. Suppose today you collected that $22. $22 and you are cash collected. Here you shouldn't provide any kinds of bet. Why? Because this is receivable. You have already this receivable in the sales debut. And when you are making the sales debut, you have already recorded bet there. Bet collection. So bet we have already 
recorded there, but we have already calculated there. That's why here we are just collecting the total total. We shouldn't, we need not to provide or we need to calculate the VAT for the load. That's why here there will be no store of VAT. But the fact is, it will be recorded in sales debut 22 November. By seeing this, by seeing this, we can be very much clear that this much cash actually comes from previous receivable. Clear? Okay. Now, <coughs> so up to this level, how much cash, cash is already collected? Cash is $12 and receivable is already collected $22. How much cash is collected already? For $32 you have already collected. This is cash related transaction. Another thing is memoranda. Memoranda means <coughs> Memoranda. <coughs> Normally, this is the cash book receipt side. Receipt side. There are some other. Uh, there is another component. We we'll discuss the general discount. One is discount allowed. Another is discount received. Supplier can allow discount to the customer. And for the customer perspective, that discount allowed is a kind of discount receipt. So you are calculating your receipt as a business people. It may be possible that you can provide discount to your customer to make early payment. This is called cash, uh, cash discount or settlement discount, right? So discount provision may be there. <coughs> Suppose as for example, if the customer provide this $20 within the next 30 days, then he will be provided kind of discount. What kinds of discount? Cash discount. Suppose two dollars And the customer is providing this $20 within the 30 days. So that's why customer will provide two dollar discount. Here, memoranda laser, memoranda column, we will discuss or we will record the discount amount. So here, $2 discount is there. So if $2 discount is there, $2 discount is there, that means you are collecting $20, not $22. Because as your customer is providing that earlier, that's why total receivable is decreased. Right? So, this is the things. Now the fact is how you calculate this. As a whole, you are collecting 12, 30, uh, $32, right? You are collecting $32. This is your total collection. Cash collection, cash is a kind of current asset. So you have to record this in the debit side. Current asset representation, so debit. Cash, $32. Wet. <coughs> Wet. Oh, another thing. Discount allowed. When being a business people, you are allowing discount to your customer. That means you are decreasing your receivable. You are decreasing your receivable. That much discount allowed is a kind of expense for the business. Expense for the business. It reduces the receivable. That's why discount allowed this much two dollar is a kind of expense. Any kinds of expense represented which side? Debit side. <coughs> discount allowed. How much? Two dollars. Here, now, that this is your that right? This much sales related that. <coughs> so it is your kind of <coughs> liability, right? Kind of liability. Liability should be present in the credit set. So credit. Credit. Out. Bet how much? That is then net. This much net sale is committed. Cash sale. Sheet. This much net sale is committed. Sales is a kind of income. So income is a kind of liability. Sales. 
distance is temporal. Clear? Then, 22, it was initially you were receiver. Right? Initially you were receiver. Now you have to lower this receiver because you have already collected that amount and as well as some uh, discount is there. That's why, credit, receivable. And this is receivable control account. Initially it was in the debit side, now it is credit side, that means it is omitted. Receivable control account, how much? 20. The journal will include cash book this website. Clear? Now, <coughs> if this is in the case of cash day book payment site, if this is the cash book, uh, case of payment site, in that case, this will not be the discount received. This will be discount. I uh, will be discount allowed. This will be discount received. Being a customer here, you are receiving some discount from the supplier. Supplier. So see, this will not be the same. This is suppose cash purchase. Cash purchase. Today, you purchase $12 cash purchase from an individual supplier within which to the was bet and it was net. And then $20 initially it was $20 to a shilam purchase debit. It was payable payment. Now today you are making some of your payment provided. You are making the payment some of your payments which is initially $20, $22 actually $22. You were having 2% discount, $2 discount. That's why it was just like $20. Now the thing is, in this segment, you need not to provide or calculate the VAT because this VAT is already calculated earlier in the purchase table departments. Then it should be recorded in the, this will be purchase laser. Purchase laser. By seeing this, you will be very much clear that is this was initially payable. And today, you make the payment of that payable. That's why there is no sort of payable. Obligation is reduced. Now the question is how you actually calculate this or journal, make the journal of this. Question is how you First of all, <coughs> number one, debit. Debit. This is 10. This is 22. This is 2. Number one. Debit. These are input VAT, right? Payments means purchase credit card. Input VAT by providing the input VAT, you are decreasing your liability. So the input VAT should be debit side. Input VAT to hmm? Then I show net. This much you purchased net net amount with cash. Debit net purchase how much? That is same. Clear? Then payable laser. By seeing this column, you have made clear that this much was initially payable, now you are providing that payment. Payment for the chula. So initially it was liability. Now we are decreasing that liability. So it should be debit side. That means debit. Payable. Laser. It should be control account. How much? 20. <coughs> yeah. Now the thing is to do all these things, you need to make the payment of $32 cash. That means this is the outflow of cash. Outflow of cash means decreasing the current asset. Normally current asset is represented the debit side. So as you are presenting this is outflow, it should be credit side. That means credit, cash, or you can say bank. How much? $32. And this is your discount receipt. Discount 
receipt, you are receiving discount from the supplier. So discount receipt is a kind of income for the business. Any kinds of income is a kind of liability. So obviously this discount receipt is a kind of liability. That is credit, discount, receipt to the law. This is the law of charge. Clear? In next segment, next for the class here. Next, we will we'll discuss sales and purchase laser reconciliation. In that reconciliation segment, we need to amalgam this receipt side with purchase day book, and this payment side with the purchase day book and purchase return day book, and receipt side with sales day book and sales return day book. We'll discuss the later on. So, this is the normal scenario. We are now focus on. Focus on petty cash flow. Petty cash flow. Petty cash. What is petty cash book? Normally, business organization actually retains some specific portion of money. Specific portion of money with himself, with itself to meet up the daily smaller amount of operating expenses. That's why initially we will discuss impressed system, impressed. Impressed system. As for example, impressed system means suppose think petty cash is just like a basket. It's a basket. Impressed system, today you impressed here, that means you are impressed. You are impressed in suppose 100 dollars. That means you are creating a petty cash of $100. So you can meet up different kinds of expenses within this $100. But the fact is, <coughs> whenever any kinds of expenses actually counted from this petty cash, that means cash is withdrawn from this basket for making up some exp expenses. In exchange of expenses, some kinds of documents should be provided here. Suppose today you withdraw $10. For kinds of purpose. At the same time, you have to provide here a kind of voucher, which is called petty cash voucher. Normally, recording. We have already discussed for any kinds of transaction, there should be a paper document. So, as you are committing these kinds of expense, it should be evident. And the evidence is petty cash voucher. And this voucher can be authorized by some individual, specific authorized people. So, you are withdrawing $10, that is here. $90 is remained. And at the same time, $10. $10 is a voucher. So we have $90 cash and $10 voucher. So as a whole, there is a kind of calculation process that is still there is another dollar. The impress system is end of the month. Suppose end of the month. As for example, there are total cash. Cash suppose $10 and obviously there should be petty cash voucher $90 right basket number the mass session dosh taka asa tar mani ki no bui taka tulani aos obosshoi there should be petty cash voucher in total $90 and impress system means in the next month you will withdraw all this voucher and impressed $90 $90 and then the cash will be $100 again from the next month start. So this is all about petty cash system. And then and petty cash normally maintain just by the cash flow. And then journal. Journal we have already do some journal. But journal is any sort of transaction which is not recorded here. So, <coughs> journal means any kinds of transaction which are not recorded in the books of primary that should be recorded through journal. Capital bring, build up, non kind asset building, non kind asset disposal. Regular <coughs> the chapter is accrual, different, accrual prepaid, 
any kinds of error calculation, all the things are computed by Jones. So this is all about the books of prime engine. So thank you.